Well, here we are, guys. Yours truly, the rig, the rigster, the rig maestro, and I couldn't help but take the opportunity to serve my opinion about what's been going on with the Mike Tyson versus Jake Paul. Now, I know a few days have gone by and people have had their opinions go on what has transpired before us. And if you really want to know my opinion about the whole thing, hey, you guys got scammed. It's a little bit of disappointment, but uh, yes, you did. I mean, first off, let me rant. First off, it's like an exhibition match. For, it was an exhibition match souped up like WrestleMania. And I have to say, with all the the the... The, the video clips that they put up of Mike Tyson still having it. And don't get me wrong. I believe Mike Tyson still does have it. And we'll get to that. Then we have a history of Jake Paul. His history reveals a lot. Not just what you see on the screen. What other people talk about other than his fame and what how he's gotten to where he is now don't get me wrong luke and logan you guys all come together in the same you know three brothers type category i understand it i totally understand it i get it you guys didn't have money when you were younger, and now you got money, and now you want it all, and you want control over it all, and we'll get to that soon. This was, how you say, a very big embarrassment to the boxing industry. I, I'm letting you know that straight up. It was an embarrassment. Um... You could go and say, uh, talk to people who have, who uh, who made bets, and they're gonna give you their opinion because they may have lost a bet. They're gonna be peed off. They're gonna be this. They're gonna be that. You you got those people. Then you got your supporters that are obviously gonna fight back against those 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 people who are pissed off about losing a bet. Me, I never made any bets, my friend. So. Let me talk to both of you here, and I can analyze the whole situation. Something was said. Something was said before this match happened, wasn't it? Yeah, I did. Dude, man, look, 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 Jake. You can sit there with your buff freaking self and you can go to the gym and you can put along all these freaking promos and stuff like that. And yeah, you are a champion and you got the credit, you earned it and all that shit. I'm still going to call you the biggest piece of trash on the planet at this moment in this story. Because you scammed everybody, including Mike Tyson. Maybe not that much. Maybe not that much. Because everybody gets a payday either or. Right? Am I not right? Hey, right? And you know what? I've noticed a lot of different things over the years. Ever since, uh, especially like with, with, with the way things are run in the sports industry. And, uh, you know, it reminds me of uh, all the stuff that happened with, you know, the Robin Hood stuff, right? Scandals and uh, what, what else was there? There was, there was a few other ones out there too. Um, and I just think about these things and how all these come into play. When it comes to scams and working the audience, you obviously work the uh, audience, especially with the promos, the promos. Hey, you had me, but I was still looking at Mike Tyson. And I'll tell you why I was looking at Mike Tyson. Because of what you said. What you guys were saying. What you guys were, were talking back and forth. It was very interesting. 
which will lead me to what I said in the beginning about somebody must have said something, right? Somebody must have said you got to go the distance, right? Somebody must have said that you specifically got to go all the distance, the eight rounds for that number. Hey, I know how patterns work. I know how the numbers work. And I know how the messages are all getting sent. And you guys set this up. Mike Tyson wanted to whoop your ass. And you might have whooped his ass too. But I am telling you, there was a moment, if not for an hour, where Mikey was by himself and he was back into the block. Back on the block. He was ready to go prison rules on you, my friend. Where it wouldn't have mattered to the ref. All you had to do was make the wrong move. You know that. I understand people have pointed at it at Mikey's knee. I understand people are pointing at all these little things that, ah, but no, man. It's about frame of mind. You were given this win. I'm going to tell you that. You're given this win. In fact, you bought this win. You wanted to make it fair. Obviously, you're going to say you went easy on him. Mm. No, 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 no. You both won here. Obvious. But truthfully, especially where Mikey's been, okay, you're only the lucky one in this match. Okay? That's just my honest opinion there, Jake Paul. This has nothing to do with anything against you or anything like that because I got some stuff. I got some stuff. I got some stuff on a list. Don't you worry. My people work hard. And trust me. When I say don't fuck with the Joneses, it means there's a line. Hey. I really would love to see that fight. Fight with you and uh, Andrew Tate. That would be something. Of course, as you said, it would be his payday. You sound like a guy I, 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 I've quite frequently gotten familiar with. <sighs> And guess what? I put him in his place too. So, that's my opinion about the Mike Tyson versus Jake Paul match. And that is my reaction from yours truly. The head of state, Joseph Riggs. Get the Jones.